Hello friends, welcome back to medical video lecture physiology on atrophy. Guys, I'm talking these important topics for USMLE. Step 1. Okay guys, there are three steps for USMLE. Okay, one, two, and three. So let's talk briefly about the atrophy. What is the atrophy definition? What's the atrophy? The definition atrophy name itself indicates there's a decrease in the size of the cell. Okay. Atrophy of more numbers of the cells resulting in the decreased size or what you call wasting of concerned tissue organ or a part of a body. You know very well. Okay. So just remember there is a decrease in the size of the cell. Okay. What are the causes? What are the causes? There can be uh, many causes. Let me brief you with some causes like for example poor nourishment like starvation, right? Poor nourishment. Especially you can see nourishments. Okay? Like uh, poor people or you can see in the models they 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 are they are undergoing dieting okay, and they took and if they are even if the country from a developing countries they have the food but uh, it's not in nutritious then also the muscles and uh, what you call the organs can undergo what you call um, atrophy, right? A second cause it could be if organ is atrophied it's it can be due to the decreased blood supply, low blood supply okay. Remember, the other cause can be there. There can be a loss of control by the nerves and the hormones, because nerves and the hormones play very important role in regulating that organ. If there is any disturbance in this, then it can lead to the atrophy, and they can be due to the other causes like lack of workload or exercise. Exercise or workload, okay. And the other cause can be intrinsic disease of the tissue or organ. Okay. So these are the important causes for the atrophy you should remember. Just a basic thing. That's it. Um, types of atrophy. There are two types of. You can remember the types. The types of atrophy are the two types. One is a physiological and a pathological. Physiological and pathological. Physiological and pathological. Okay. Phi pathy. Example of the physiological atrophy are the atrophy of the thymus in the childhood and tonsils in adolescence. Okay. So as you see, the thymus and the tonsils they decrease in the size when the boy or the girl reaches to the adolescence compared to the ch children. Okay, the pathological atrophy, you know very well the skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, sex, org sex organs and the brain. Okay, as we discussed before. So these are the types of atrophy and causes of atrophy and the definition. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.